Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we talk everything from video games to movies, anything pop culture. Today I'm doing a discussion video from one of my favorite TV shows of all time that has a comic book. Today we're discussing issue number one of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Issue number one starts off with Buffy being stuck at a job at Tooniverse, where she's not only bored at work, but also bored with being stuck in a small town of Sunnydale. Sitting in the restaurant is Willow and Xander having a friendly meal. Here, Buffy, Willow, and Xander have not met each other yet. Xander and Willow leave the restaurant where they are attacked by a creature of the night. Luckily for them, Buffy had just gone on break and is there to save the day. However, Buffy just might have revealed to Xander and Willow that she just might not be your average Sunnydale student. Willow and Xander decide to do some reconnaissance and follow Buffy into the library where her and Giles have a meeting. Giles proceeds to get on Buffy's case for not being smart about keeping her slain secret. Buffy tells Giles it was either keep her identity secret or watch Willow and Xander die. Later that night we see Buffy back on the prowl at a graveyard where she comes face to face with a baddie she should be able to handle with no problem. But this baddie possesses a type of necklace that keeps him from getting harmed by the Slayer. The baddie proceeds to a magic shop in search of power where Anya happens to be working. However, the baddie is not worthy of taking on this type of power and does Buffy's job. The next morning, Buffy and Giles discuss what happened in the graveyard last night and Giles proceeds to do his classic Giles research. That day at school, Willow reaches out to Buffy so her and Xander can get to know her better. After a brief conversation, Buffy reveals to them that she is a slayer and kills vampires. Needless to say, Xander and Willow don't buy it, and they thought the guy that attacked him just had some type of facial deformity. Buffy keeps telling them that she really just wants to be a normal teenager, but unfortunately for Buffy, this is Sunnydale. We get a quick look at a mysterious figure entering the magic shop where Anya's at. And this one looks like she's going to give Buffy a run for her money next issue. So have you guys started reading the new version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer comics? I know issues 2, 3, and 4 are out, and I have a little catching up to do, but I will be reading them and making future discussion videos here on Toned In Entertainment. So make sure you subscribe here for more.